Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode 15, 19, what am I on about? 15 of my how to build an advanced 8 bit computer inside Minecraft. Now, last video was just a quick bug fix episode, and I thought today let's get on with doing uh, doing the external RAM. And so that's what we'll be doing. We won't actually be like installing the RAM as such, we'll just be uh, going through the design of it, uh, of one individual like register of the RAM. And then next video I will show you uh, whereabouts we need to put it and then the video after that will probably link it all up. And then we're about finished, just going to do a bit of ROM for the program, bit of input output, bit of branching. So yeah, there is still a few other projects to do but we're well on the way to completing this computer. So yeah, in um, in one of the previous episodes we built these registers, the general purpose registers which are all dual read, which means they have one location you can write to, so like here, but then you can read from them from two places, which gives us the two inputs to our ALU. Now the RAM is only single read, so it's much simpler than this and much easier to build. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, we have three blocks for our input line, which needs to be inverted. So we just place that touch there. And then we come to the middle of one of our three blocks. Place a piston facing down like so, which will extend automatically due to this being powered. After that, we need to place a uh, block of redstone, redstone block underneath it. Then under that, we need to make sure that this redstone here is being powered by this block of redstone. Next, this is uh, fairly simple. As you can see, we just place another um, piston, sticky piston, both these sticky pistons under that, and then we place a block under that like that. Let's just uh, time set day. Right, so that is our write system. This is our memory cell. So if I just show you what I mean by that, grab some core. Nope, I remember I'm using stone slabs for this one. So if we place a little line going like that like this like this and then a button there we can see that this is our input if we want to save a one we enter some data so that's a one coming through because it's on and as it's inverted this is off and then we click this and this writes it to memory now this piston is retracted and the input does not affect what is starting here and then if we send a zero through which is then inverted to become a one and write that this thing becomes retracted again uh, extended again sorry and then this does not affect the memory cell so this is a bud which uh, we just use this as the input and then this to update the bud which uh, which just controls this piston and this piston obviously controls this piston here um, which will extend after two ticks so yeah and now we need to come out like that place, ah this is going to be a bit tricky, I've only just realised that that's going to interfere, my bad, so we need to place that like that, um, that like that, and then join it up like so, now if we come right down to the bottom, we're almost done, do a little diagonal like so, place uh, two like that, Redstone touch on this one, redstone here, and then redstone here and here. And voila, we are finished. So now if I say this is the right, uh, the read, we can demonstrate what is going on here. Okay. So at the moment, uh, you need to ignore the torch. Just look at the lever. At the moment, this lever is off. We write something to it. We write in zero, so nothing changes in the memory cell. Then we read it and we get no output because nothing has been started in here then if we input some data write it to this address or this register and then read it kapow we have a output and then we don't read read don't read so on so on so on so yeah this is uh, this is fairly simple since this retraction of the piston is instant and we only have one tick of delay here this is a one tick read so once it's been saved, it only takes one tick to read the data from whichever cell. This is probably... Oh, yep, this is also very nice as well, since we only have one piston going into this block. Oh, yeah, I need to fix this, because that actually uh, messes around with this. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, I, I remember I need to do some bug fixes in here. So, yeah, this is also one tick delay. Uh, one tick read, sorry. 
and then it it, uh, it goes down and I think again that's one tick read or it might be a bit slower than that but yeah it usually is with dual read so that is the design for this video and now um, there's not much left to do it's pretty basic design and we will take this which can hold one bit and then we will stack it across to get eight uh, imagine that's eight not three because I can actually count and then we will take this and then we will stack it in this direction lots and lots and lots of times to get um, multiple addresses and that will form our RAM this will then be placed or using world edit of course as close as we can get it to the um, to here so it's probably gonna be let's have a look does this stick out one more yes this sticks out one more so we're going to have it probably placed here extending extending so all the way down here to around here and then all the way down the other side and then we're gonna have to have a massive binary to decimal decoder which I will provide schematic for at some point I know I'm behind on uploading schematics I need to do some of that soon and uh, yeah that will form the addressing and then the address which is coming out of the A register will feed into that decoder so yeah it's all gonna be super nice and super compact super fast and hopefully this will be a good computer so yeah, I know this has been a short video, but it needed to be done. Thanks for watching, and please stick around for the next video.